Why is it a beautiful day? I'm gonna soak up some sun. Ah, that's too much sun. Why is it so hot? Ryan? Yeah? Are you out here in the sun without some sunscreen? This is not good for you. Now put out your hand. Hey, you always need sunscreen when you go outside. It'll protect you from the sun. But mommy, can you tell me more about the sun? Of course, I'll tell you all about it. Now put on your sunscreen. Okay. Welcome to Ryan's world. So this is the sun. Whee! Most stars are sphere shaped like our sun. A sphere is an object that is completely round in shape, like a ball. But did you know the sun is a star like this? All the other stars looks like this, and this, and this. They all look like little sparks in the sky, only because they're so far, far away from us. Did you know that our sun is just an average sized star? There are bigger stars in the universe, and there are smaller stars in the universe. There are about 100 billion to 400 billion stars just in our galaxy, which is called the Milky Way. Nope, not that Milky Way, this Milky Way. A star, like our sun, is a giant ball of gas, look. But what kind of gas? Let's go visit Mr. Sun himself and ask. Wow. Oh, hi there, Mr. Sun. Oh, hi. I have a question for you. I love questions. I don't get many visitors up here, you know. What are you made of? I am made of mostly hydrogen gas and also some helium gas. Helium? Like the gas we put in balloons to make them float? You're right. I'm also made of other gases like oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. But I'm mainly hydrogen gas. Oh, wow, that is so cool. There you have it. From Mr. Sun himself, the sun is mainly made out of hydrogen gas. But it's getting so hot here. Oh, I don't want to burn out, so I'm going to go back down to Earth. Bye, Mr. Sun. Bye. Wow, what a cool little Earthling. So this is the solar system. Did you notice what's in the center of the solar system? What? It's this big object. Why? That's the sun. And did you notice how it's the biggest object in the whole solar system? Wow. And can you find Earth? It's right there. There's Earth. That's our planet. Did you notice how the Earth revolves around the sun? That means all the planet goes around the sun. So this is our planet Earth. Like all the other planets in the solar system, it orbits the sun like this. Whoa. Did you know it actually takes about 365 days for the Earth to go around the sun? Whoa. That's why there's 365 days in a year. Whoa. So the sun is the closest star to Earth. That's why when you look outside, you can kind of see its round spherical shape. But all the other stars look like little sparks in the sky because, again, they're so far, far away from us. Even though the sun is the closest star to us, it's still about 93 million miles away from us. So, if I have a flying car that I can use to travel to the sun at 93 miles per hour, it will still take me one million hours to get to the sun. So we know that the sun is made up of burning hot gases like hydrogen gas. But how hot is the sun? Hot, 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 hot. I'll let Heck explain it to you because I'm not going back to the sun again. It's way too hot for a penguin to be out here. But I'll do anything in the name of science. Did you know the surface of the sun is about 10,000 Fahrenheit or 5,600 Celsius? As you get closer to the core or the center of the sun, it gets way hotter. 
It can reach about 27 million Fahrenheit, or 15 million Celsius. Oh, hey, Combo. Nice to see you on this side of the universe. Want to hear a joke? Uh, sure. Why did the sun go to school? Um, why? To get brighter. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, Peck. Uh, I'm going to go explore more over there. Way over there. Okay, so here are some boiling water. But remember, only grown-ups should boil water. Let's see. What is the temperature that water boils at, okay? Right. Wow, water boils at 112 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Even the oven, look, it only goes up to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. Nowhere close to the sun's temperature at all, right? Have you ever wondered what life would be like without the sun? Well, for one, it would be very, very cold. And it would be very, 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 very dark. Oh, hello? Hello, anybody there? Oh, what's that noise? Oh, oh. It's just Mr. Chicken. I knew the sun would be useful. So, why is the sun so important to us? Well, the sun provide us with light and heat, which means they provide us lots and lots of energy. And without the sun's energy, we would not be able to survive. Almost everything here on Earth, like this organism, this, and even this, depends on the sun's energy in some way to survive. This is a plant, and plants like this needs the sun's energy to make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Say it with me. Photosynthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means to put together. So photosynthesis means using the light's energy to make their own food. How cool is that? Animals, including humans like us, need plants for food and we also need the oxygen that the plants produce. But without sunlight energy, plants can't survive. Also, without the sun, everything would be so cold and everything here on Earth would freeze like this. Oh. <gasps> Yay for sunlight. Humans can also take the sun's light and turn it into electricity called solar power. Say it with me, solar power. These are solar panels. Solar panels captures the sunlight energy and turn them into power. Solar power is wonderful because there's pretty much an endless supply of sunlight. Also, solar power doesn't cause pollution. Woohoo! Did you know that you can also use the sun's energy to make your own s'mores? So as you can see, it's really bright outside. Now we're gonna use all of the sunlight to cook our s'mores. Now we just have to adjust this panel to get it just right. Ooh, that looks really good right there. All we have to do now is just wait for the s'mores to melt. One hour later. All right, Bree, let's check out our results. All right, let's see. Do 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 do. Oh, ooh, these look so good. So of course, to make us more, you have to smush them together like this. Oh man, look at all of that ooey gooeyness. Yeah, kill mm, me. That looks so good. Let's try it out. Oh, I'm making a mess everywhere. Mmm, this is really good. Mm-hmm. Awesome job. Now I'll go deliver it. Bye, Bree. Bye. Combo Panda presents. The small. This is so yummy. Combo Bunga. Solar energy rocks. Combo, thank you so much. But how is solar energy able to cook the s'mores? We used foil in this box to capture sunlight to heat up the s'mores. I can't believe it works. Maybe next time I'm gonna use solar power to bake a cookie. Whoa. So, now that we 
know so much about the sun. Are you ready for a quiz? Of course you are. Let's go. Question number one. What is the sun? Is it A, a star? Is it B, a giant bubble in the sky? Or is it C, a moon? Did you get the answer? That's right, the answer is A. The sun is a star. Question number two. What is the sun mainly made out of? Is it A, glitter? Is it B, hydrogen gas? Or is it C, water? Did you get the answer? It is B. The sun is mainly made out of hydrogen gas. Question number three. What would the weather be like here on Earth without the sun? Would it be A, bright and shiny? Oh. Would it be B, cold and dark? Hello? I can't see anything. Or would it be C, hot but windy? Oh, so much wind. Did you get the answer? It is C. Without the sun, the weather here on Earth will be very dark and icy cold. Ugh. Now that we learned so much about the sun, let's go and tell Ryan. Let's go. Look, guys, look at what I made. It's power from the sun. Whoa, Ryan, what is this? It's a card that is powered by the sun. Whoa, nice. Good job, Ryan. You learned that you can power a remote control car using solar energy. <gasps> That is awesome. All right, but is it strong enough to catch me? <laughs> it is. <laughs> get me, get me down. <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, thank you for learning about the sun with me. Bye. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah.